So we're going to start by going to Google Apps and sign in. And we're going to go to EasyBib. And here we're going to go to All Projects so that we can create a new project. And we're going to name it for our photographer, so including photography and the person's name. And we're going to choose MLA7. And you can search for your bibliography to find it more easily if you have too many in there. Um, and now we're going to go to the database page and we're going to choose a database. And the login is the generic username and password. And we're going to go to Encyclopedia Britannica because we want to have a more general source just to get an overview about our person. And when you search for them, you can search last name first and first name last and go. And the first article is actually pretty concise to say the least. Um, but you should be able to use some of that to get started on your note taking. So in the art history subpage, I've created a, a blank document so you can use that for your notes. It has the questions in it. So just copy it, rename it, and share it if uh, make it public if you want or not. Um, but we call that christening a document. So you can start to fill in a couple of items. So for example, what time, 1880s, that's fairly easy. Um, there are a couple of other instances where you can answer a few questions from this very concise little article. So the overarching accomplishments was that he made photography accessible to the layperson. And that's pretty much exhausts the bulk of what we can add here. Oh no, here we go. The, even children. Okay, so that was one of the Eastman quotes. So that kind of sums up what we what we can do with this article. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to additional external links and we're going to go to the Kodak website. It has a nice biography about George Eastman. And we're going to take more notes. Um, and I'm going to walk you through some of it. I'm not going to read them to you as I put them in, but you can see that we are finding a great deal of information um, from here. Now here I put something in quotes, so I want to make sure that I identify where I got that website. Now there's no author info on that website, so unfortunately all I can do is write Kodak to identify where I got it from. Um, as I build the bibliographic citation for that website, then I can re-examine that to see if that's the proper way to reference it. Yeah, I make a lot of typos, unfortunately. So this is some fairly global information. So now I need to go in and dig for some more detail. Um, so I'm going to go to the Biography Reference Bank and I'm going to search for Eastman, comma, George and make it a subject search. There you go and go ahead and do my search. And I have a number of articles, one of which is a biographical article. And I'm going to take more notes. I'm not going to walk you through the painstaking process of note taking in, for every resource. But I do want you to understand that there's a, basically a progression of the depth of resources that we're looking at here. So we're going to cite this article. And we scroll down to MLA. And it occurs to me that we haven't done this for Botanica, so we'll also do that for Botanica. So I'm going to copy that and go to EasyBib. And I'm going to go to 59 options and the Write Paste Citation option. And I'm going to paste it in there and create the citation. And now I'm going to go to Britannica and do the same thing. So at the bottom it has this MLA style citation. Go back to EasyBib, go to 59 other options, 
and go copy and paste and paste it and create the citation. Great. And now we're going to go to yet another resource and this is our final resource. We're going to go to Master File Premier and that is a periodical database so we can find magazine articles and since that's one of the requirements for this project that's what we're going to do. Choose subject Again, it's the same search, it's a different database. And now we're going to choose magazines exclusively. And the interesting thing about the article that I chose is it's actually not about George Eastman. It's about a different photographer, but the value it brings is that it really talks about how George Eastman influenced this one uh, photographer. So the Doctor of the Dark Room. So we'll click on PDF since it's only available in PDF. And it takes a while to load some of these sometimes. And here is our article. And again, you're going to take more notes. These are more detailed notes. Um, it's a fairly comprehensive article. And yeah, it's a little bit old. Um, but that doesn't mean it's irrelevant because it's talking about the influence of George Eastman on this one photographer. So there's a passage there that's particularly pertinent to what we're looking for. Now we're going to, you can see that that little icon was folded in there. So we're going to expand that click on the citation, go to MLA, we're going to copy that citation and we're going to go back to EasyBib, go back to all 59 options, go back to write and paste the citation, paste it in there and create the citation. And now we'll export that and go to Google Docs and allow access and we will go to Google Docs and we have to rename our document. So include obviously the name of the photographer and then we have to make it public because it's going to go on our website. So save that, make it public and save it and there we have our bibliography. Now we're going to go to Misinski's um, website where we're going to post it and we go to the Works Cited page and we click Edit Page. And put your cursor in where you want it to go and then we're going to go to Insert in the top left and Google Drive and document and then most in most cases your most recent document will appear at the top so select that and click Save and it appears there but not until you've saved that page and now it appears there. Alright so what did I forget? I forgot to cite the Kodak website but that's okay I can go back to EasyBib, enter that website and as long as I bring that back out to the EasyBib bibliography that I renamed, I can it will update in the actual website that we created from Misinski's class.